Okay, so let's just go through that rhythm one more time and we're gonna start with the, on the E, e chord, we're just gonna pick our, practice, concentrate on our right hand picking. So it's down, down, up on the A, then down on the E, down, and then we're gonna switch chords to the A, down, so down twice, down on the A, down on the E. That's how you finish off that riff. So it's down, down, staying on the same chord. Go to your A string, up, up, down on the E. And then you got a little down, down, down. That's where you change your chords, okay? One more time. Up on the A, up, up, down on the E, down on the E again, and then change your chord, down, and then down on the E. Let's go all together now. And that's the basic gist of that whole Bo Diddley riff. Once you get that down, practice it up to tempo. Keep those strings muted. Get it, get it up to speed. Practice it to where you can do it. Without looking and without thinking. And once you do that, once you can get that rhythm down, you can throw in little side licks, little fills in here and there, and impress your friends. You can let those chords ring out at the end there. Mute it, ring. Hit it, like that, okay? So once you get that up to tempo, then you can start throwing in some little riffs. All right, so now that we got that rhythm down, and I hope you practice that, because you want to get that in your head. You want to be able to hum that in your head and feel it in, in your body while you're playing. So you're, you're doing that rhythm. And this is when you're going to start doing those slide fills, OK? And once you get those slide fills, you're going to be playing slide today. I mean, these are simple, simple slide fills. Anyone can do these. You don't have to be a lead guitar player. You don't have to be a great guitar player. This is a one finger kind of thing, OK? So you're doing that rhythm. Got that in your head? You're ready to go? We're gonna so we're gonna start with our first little uh, fill here. Let's do that one. All right. So let's talk through that one. So we're gonna start on the seventh fret. We're only playing two notes here. With our we're gonna lay our slide straight across the seventh fret. I think we talked through this one before, but we're gonna lay our slide across the seventh fret. We're gonna be playing just the D. Okay. We're going to play, be playing just the D and the G string. So we're going to slide up, hitting your D string. So we're going to slide up from the D string on the seventh fret, slide up to the ninth fret, hit your D string, and then hit your G string. You can hit them together if you want to. It doesn't matter. You can hit them separate. Either one works, okay? And then you want to go back down to the seventh fret. So you're going to slide from the ninth fret back to the seventh. Hit it twice. And then slide back up again to the seventh. I mean, to the ninth. Okay, so once again, we're going to go from the D on the seventh fret. You want to hit that, that note first. Make sure, because that gets that slide sound. That, you know, you're going up. And when you go up, you hit the next up string, which is your G. Okay, so sliding up, hit the G. You can up pick or down pick. Or you can pick them, both of the notes at the same time, you get a chord there. And then you're going to slide, you're going to pick that note again, or that chord, 
at that ninth fret, and you're going to slide back down to the seventh. And then you're going to hit it. Right on the seventh with those two notes, the D and the G, like you're playing a chord only with your slide, okay? So it's not even as hard as a chord. You don't have to lay your fingers down or anything. You just keep your slide there and hit those strings. Uh, you hear that extra noise? That's because I'm not being careful where I'm picking my strings, okay? So you want to pick your strings just carefully. You might want to cover those other extra strings with your fingers and with your palm of your hand. Make sure you just get those strings in the middle. And then slide back up again from the seventh to the ninth on the same strings. Playing those two strings together and nothing else. Okay, it's not really that hard. It's just trying to concentrate on those two strings and not playing the extra strings. So let's do it again. See that? We'll do it real slow once more, one more time. Hang off of that. Okay, so let's do it all together. We're gonna go from that riff right into that little fill, that little slide fill. That's just a really simple, basic slide fill that you can do on only two notes.